Hey, it's Lucas here for Hanabi Glass. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make a basic mushroom bead. Do a little bit of variance on the stem for what you can do. And yeah, let's get started. All right, here's what we're going to need. 10 millimeter rod. I'm using dark multi, also known as dragon's eye. Can use some black for the bottom on one of them. Your choice. Some punties. I'm using four millimeter as tweezers as well as an octagonal reamer and of course my trusty zippo this is we're going to make a mushroom where i pull it to a point on the bottom and also another one where it spreads out from the bottom after adding extra colored glass and here they are with a nice up close view All right, so we're gonna get started here. I'm gonna take that little bit of color changing glass. I recommend trying that for your first ones. It does give you a nice, pretty mushroom cap and stem. And we're gonna make a stringer with this. And we're gonna try to shoot for about two and a half millimeters, give or take, right around there. And when you're heating up the colored glass, you're going to heat up the ends closer to Clear glass. You're going to move back and forth across the glass and heat up the outside and then the outside and again hit the, up the outside and as you do this the heat will transfer to the center giving you a nice even heat. Now we've got it just about the temperature we want to look, want it to be. We're going to give it a good solid stretch, slowly and at a slight angle, which helps keep it centered. Keeping it as close to center as you possibly can is one of the most important things for getting the perfect mushroom. Now flame cut. Do it on the edge of the flame so that you don't boil the color. And here, pulling off just a little bit to make sure that the end is nice, clean, centered. You can do it the same to the other side. All right, now, what we're going to do is get what's called a gather of glass. So since we're working with a 10 millimeter rod, we're going to make it to about 12 to 14 millimeter in diameter. You don't want to do too much bigger than the original rod you're using. So for example, you're doing a 15 millimeter rod. You might go to 17, possibly 18, the biggest. That way it doesn't flop around too much. All right, so the gather is about where we want it. A little bit over 12 millimeters, nice and even temperature. So now we are going to move the flame just the front side of the gather and you're going to heat up the colored rod. So you can see the colored rod is getting a little bit of heat. That is what part of the colored rod will be the cap. Now touch it and push. Do a nice steady push and try your best to get it in the center. Once the colored glass hits the cooler glass in the back of the clear, it will mushroom out to the cap. Now cut off in the flame and we're going to heat the cap. So it's a little bit harder to see in the video here, but the flame that I'm using is a fairly sharp one. Again, I'm using a CC plus, which will make it a little bit easier, but if you're not, that's okay as well. Just keep your flame focused on the backside of the mushroom, the top of the cap, 
And you'll also notice that there's a slight angle. I'm using gravity to help the clear glass slump along the um, stem of the mushroom. I'm trying my best not to capture any air, but one of the cool parts with the color changing glass is you can get some pretty cool effects if you do trap air. So don't worry too much about that. All right, so we got that completely melted in all the way to the end of the stem. It's nice and round. You can leave it like this if you'd like, or you can do what I'm doing right here is where I'm pulling it to just a nice little point. Some people are a pretty big fan of doing it this way. Up to you. Again, you are the artist, craftsman, artisan, what have you. And now I will melt it even so it has a nice taper. And then we're gonna grab one of our punties and let the mushroom cool down so we can do a nice cold seal on it, which we'll get to in just a second. As you can see, the mushroom looks pretty cool. So heat up your punty, get yourself a nice blob going on there. Well, I had a little bit of crap on the end of mine, so let's clean that off. And we're going to do a nice cold seal on there so it'll knock off easily. And to do the loop for this, right where the mushroom has come to a nice taper back to the 10 millimeter glass is where you want to focus your flame. Gonna heat it up and get a good heat base in there. And once it's, you know, a bit, a bit soft, then we'll pull it out of the flame and stretch it. And you'll notice that most of the time when I stretch, I typically do it at an angle. This allows gravity to help you keep everything centered. You're pulling a point, you're pulling a stringer. It just makes keeping a nice center to whatever you're doing. So cut it off in the flame. Try not to boil the glass that usually is done by keeping it on the edge of the flame here i'm holding it vertically in the flame i know it's hard to see through my hand not a very good window i'll work better on it but allow the glass to droop grab your tweezers turn it around a little bit and now to finish this off heat it up and allow the glass to be soft push and pull back a little bit after you've touched it. I do have a video already on how to do the perfect loop. So if you want to see a little bit closer up version of that, go check that out. And now melt it in nicely. And now we will grab our reamer and adjust the hole to the size you want, as well as straightening out the loop. Once you're happy with how straight it is and the hole, grab your tweezers, heat up the hold seal, and tap it off, followed by fire polishing your punty scar. And there you go. You got yourself a mushroom bead. Next one will be the same thing, just we'll be adding some colored glass to the bottom of it. All right, this is basically just a rinse and repeat of the first one. I'm gonna keep it pretty simple on the voiceover right here. Again, get your gather, heat up the front so that the back is cooler, heat up your colored glass for what, how much you want to have for the cap, push it, try to keep it as basically centered as you possibly can. Practice makes perfect there. I'm gonna skip ahead now and explain what we're gonna do with the colored glass afterwards. Thank you. 
All right, so you did everything the same again. Grab your color rod, whatever color you're going to use. Get it nice and warm. And we're going to add a little bleb of color on the bottom of the stem. You don't want to get all the way onto the clear glass when you add it. Just on the bottom of the stem. You can do a lot, you can do a little. It's all up to you. I'm going to add just a little bit. And we're going to pull it off, cut it off on the edge of the flame. And now when you focus your heat, keep your flame right where it connects with the colored glass and the bottom of the mushroom. And when you're melting it in like this, it will spread out the base of the cap and give it a nice taper all along the colored glass. And this is my personal favorite look for mushroom beads. Once again, it's all up to you. And just as the last one, after you've got this thing fully melted in, you're gonna grab your punty, you're gonna do cold seal, you're gonna do a loop. And once you do that, same thing as before, it'll end up coming out just great. Anyway, if you have questions more about what's going on, feel free to leave me comments. Well, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, go over and check out our Instagram for all new and wonderful stuff that we have posted on there. As well as I'm streaming three times a week on Twitch. Drop by my channel to check out the schedule. It does change occasionally. As well as we have a Discord set up just in case you have any questions or any videos you'd like to see me make. 
or if you just want to say hi. Otherwise, drop on by our website and check out everything that we have available there. Anyway, thank you again for watching. Bye.